Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Allegedly. Now, according to Fulton County Court documents, Simon, 56, first filed divorce from Fallon on January 15th. The husband brings this complaint upon the ground that the marriage between parties is irretrievably broken. His petition said later noting that Simon desired an amicable settlement. Less than one week later, on January 24th, Simon dismissed his divorce complaint. On Valentine's Day, Simon posted a photo of the now estranged couple on Instagram alongside a statement about fighting for love. It took me a lifetime to learn how to love someone unconditionally, even when I did not have examples of that growing up. It is never too late to learn because an empty heart is even more of a great burden. He wrote in a since deleted post according to Atlanta Black Star, I'm still learning and not quite there. And quite frankly, loving someone deeply is not a destination because it does get bumpy. It's a lifetime. On February 19th though, he filed for divorce a second time, alleging again that his marriage with Fallon was irretrievably broken, requesting that their prenuptial agreement dated two days before their wedding be enforced to resolve all issues of the marriage. A month later on March 17th, Fallon acknowledged she received the divorce complaint according to Fulton County Court documents. And on April 22nd, they publicly announced their split. On May 5th, Simon filed a motion for the court to grant his request for a divorce and ask that he and Fallon's settlement agreement be incorporated into the court's final judgment. Less than a week later, Portia Williams confirmed her relationship with Simon in an Instagram post. With the settlement, both Simon and Fallon waived their rights to alimony, though Simon agreed to pay Fallon her portion of the profits they made from selling a property they jointly own, totaling $153,000. Simon also agreed to pay her $50,000 in two installments as an equitable division payment per their prenup. The document notes that Simon will maintain ownership of their current home, though Fallon may be able to stay through May 28th, at which point she must leave. So he putting her out and moving Portia in with the same, I mean, just put her, your foot in the back, put her out. And, and Portia, are you sure you want somebody like this? You know Sissy Stewart put you out. Put you out on the street without so much as a cheese sandwich. But girl, I guess. I don't know where to begin. I guess we should start with the word of the day. Huzzy. 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 Yeah, Portia is the living technical definition of a huzzy. She has redefined huzzydom. It's a huzzy move. I, Portia, I, I mean, to go through all of this for a man that looks like a toad from Wind in the Willows? Really? I mean, okay, he has money. Okay, he has a private jet. You're Portia Williams. You're not poor yourself. You know what? You must have an ugly men fetish. If, the, if he ain't got a belly, you don't want him. I just, I'm so confused, but let's go through the story by the numbers. Here's what Portia had to say on her Instagram. Our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest. I choose happiness every morning and every night. Tuning out all negative energy and only focus on positive wishes. He makes me so happy and to me, that's what matters most. For all of you that need facts, I get the optics, but Simon filed for divorce from a previous marriage in January. I had nothing to do with their divorce filing. That's between the two of them. Fallon and I are not friends. I, well, that's safe to say. That is safe to say you ain't friends because you stole her husband. That's a friend for you. And Simon's divorce has been settled. 
our relationship is a positive, loving step forward in everybody's lives. Simon and Dennis are committed to being respectful and supportive of my happiness in this situation, as well as being the best co-parents to baby PJ they can be. Two black men stepping up and being amazing. People, let's praise them. It's truly a beautiful moment in my life, and we cannot wait to spend the rest of our plot line together. Love, Portia. Girl, I, you know what, but then again, we should expect this from her because she married that sissy. Booty Toot Stewart. So if she was willing to marry a sissy to get on, we can't be surprised that she'll steal a husband to get on. And apparently like, there's so much backstory because Claudia Jordan, hey girl, Claudia said, well, I know who paid for your Rolls Royce. And apparently it was Fallon's husband. Well, I guess now he's going to be Portia's husband, but he seems more of a community husband. And we also know Portia moves fast because she got pregnant by Dennis within 60 days. But Portia, now I have to say, I thought that your style has upgraded as the years have gone by, but really, you're going to wear the same wedding ring as the previous heifer? I mean, did he just repossess it and put it on your finger? It's the same ring. It's the same ring. How can you be that tacky, that gauche? I mean, you have the new cute Peter Pan hairdo, and this is what you're gonna do? The same ring? I'm sorry, even if I wanted the princess cut, if I want, like, you don't get it. You get something round, you get something different, maybe something harder star-shaped, but really the same emerald cut ring. You tacky hussy. I know you're not her friend, but what did she do to you to make you really covet her life so much where you're going to walk around in the same ring? I mean, it's very single black female. Are you behind on your mortgage or your taxes? Is that why you need this cash infusion? A positive step forward in everyone's life. It's going to be really interesting to see how you and Fallon co-parent, because after all, they share a child and I've heard you're if anticipating. So we're all just gonna be one big happy sister wife family? And now here's what Simon has to say. I'd like to seize this opportunity to thank every well-wisher of Portia and I, whether via phone, text, or DM. You affirm my belief that finding love is possible for anyone who genuinely seeks one. Getting married again was never a question in my mind, but when? Did not expect to be blessed with a mate so soon. The interesting thing about life is that it's an individual journey. Portia and I, with the support of our loved ones, have chosen to travel together as one and spread love and positivity to our community, which is in desperate need of positive and healthy images of the best versions of ourselves. Is this really a positive image, you know, just hopping from one marriage to the next? It's love and throw caution to the wind. Y'all are in your 40s and, and this is what you're doing. Just, you know, oh, after a month we're engaged. Is that really taking marriage seriously? Because I remember for a long time, gay marriage was gonna be such an issue. Now straight people, y'all can go get married after 30 days. And that's fine, that's not playing at marriage, but oh Lord, two gay men that have been together for 30 years that wanna go on and get married to protect their life assets. Oh, that's, that's going to destroy marriage. Mm-hmm, just food for thought. We travel this road not lightly considering we have been in relationships that have taught us to want and do better for ourselves. I asked her to marry me because we checked all of each other's boxes and then some. We have done the individual work to sustain a healthy relationship. You've been together for a month. A month. You've done, oh, lo ooh, Delulu. Delulu, Delulu. I mean, I hope, are you buying your own BS? Cause we, I ain't buying this. You couldn't sell me this for a penny. We have done the work. The work, how much work can you get done in a month? Did y'all go to like the Yama Speed School or something? I stand next to her proud that we found each other. What we have is what we wish for every single one of you out there, happiness. So when I asked, she said, yes, that's all that matters. Thank you again for your love and support. Truly appreciate it. I guess this is what happens when a stunt queen finds another stunt queen. And it's also so fascinating because you wouldn't be on the show with Fallon, but we know you're going to give up the plot line for Portia. 
I will say though, at least Portia can get a man to show up and marry her in 30 days. I mean, this is like heartbreakers, 30 days. Meanwhile, Kenya, I know you're posting about her. Did I lie? Did I lie? Yes, she's posting Nicki Minaj memes about her because she's obsessed with someone else's business rather than her own failed marriage. Then again, I guess since the marriage has failed, you may as well focus on something else, but maybe Porsche's business isn't the best way for you to spend your time and attention. Now, Kenya, you had a quickie marriage too that didn't work out. Well, let's see if Porsche's quickie marriage will work out. Because it didn't work with Dennis. It didn't work with the sissy. Maybe it'll work with the guy with the private jet. I wonder what Candy thinks about all of this. And Simon, since you've done so much work, for this relationship in 30 days, I'd like you to explain the other hussy that was posted in your Ferrari. And Portia, you really think he's gonna be faithful? Really? He don't seem faithful because he's a wife hopper. Is Portia going to let him cheat in peace? Or is she going to get a piece of that fortune and move on because petroleum money is good money? Now, what has Fallon had to say through all of this? Well, her statement reads, at this time, I'm focusing on finalizing my divorce and healing, sending positivity to all of you. Well, that sounds like she got a good settlement. And even more Portia news, this is all going to be captured on the three-part series focusing on Portia's activism and her family. Well, apparently her new growing family. I don't know if she pregnant, she looked like she might be, but you know, you can't tell when somebody's wearing something loose. But according to page six, the show was greenlit months ago and has nothing to do with the new engagement. So that's going to be shooting in mid-summer. So we'll be catching all of Portia's drama. I have to say, girl, you have brought new life to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, can you? Your misstep with Mark is nothing compared to this. Stealing a friend of the show's husband after the reunion, keeping it secret and keeping it from you? Oh, I know this burns your biscuits. I'm sure your butt lumps are all akimbo. At least this gives you something to really dislike Portia for because now you're going to say, I respect marriage except for Phaedra and Apollos, but I respect marriage and Portia, what you did was wrong. You're gonna be on your knee. I can hear you now. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, maybe the sex is that good, but how do you get around that face? I guess you just look at the private jet and don't really look at him because that face, um, he, he looks a little like Trick Daddy. I guess you like ugly men though. I mean, look at Dennis. Do you think that Simon is going to become a Penelope Thomas Bailey, except he'll have the bucks to back it up? I wonder, will she leave the show? Portia, we were rooting for you. We were really rooting for you. There weren't enough ugly single men in Atlanta. You had to go scoop up somebody's leftovers. I mean, left it like he's still warm from her. Her imprint is still in the bed and you hopping in it. Not trollop, not tramp, huzzy. I mean, I'd wish you well, but I feel like watching the implosion of this marriage will be a lot more interesting and bring some life to Atlanta for season 14 and 15. Cause you know, it's gonna be good for a couple years and then it's gonna crash and burn. Either he's gonna be too controlling or she's gonna get caught cheating with Bolo. And Portia, why go public so quickly? You couldn't have kept this under wraps for I don't know a year and then, oh yeah, we met and things happened behind the scenes. Why put your business in the street now? For a coin, you must be behind in your taxes to pull a stunt like this. At least you've irritated Kenya Moore though. At least you've done that. I, you know, you may have embarrassed yourself by running up after somebody's leftovers, but at least you've irritated Kenya. I mean, Portia, I have to say, as low down as this move was, I'm also proud of you because you have redefined mess. You have taken housewives drama to a complete new height. Kenya, eat your heart out. Or put some lotion on. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee, allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly.